Here's another part of our conversation with former Grand Funk lead man, Mark Farner. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. Grand Funk had huge albums in the 70s, like Closer to Home from 1970, which featured the title tune along with I'm Your Captain. E Pluribus Funk were an American band which featured the title song, All the Girls in the World Beware. And there were hits like Locomotion, Some Kind of Wonderful, and Bad Time. Here's Mark Farner. Locomotion. I remember, again, an, uh, an, I would have never thought in a million years like a, band, a rock band could do that song. But here you go. Here you go. Reinventing stuff. And just <laughs> tell me about doing that one. Well, that was uh, really uh, Todd Rundgren inspired us to do that because uh, I had gone home for lunch and I'm and I'm walking back over, you know, to the studio and it's a half mile away uh, back down the dirt road and then down the dirt driveway, which kind of snaked through the woods. And I'm walking back. It's a beautiful day. I could hear the guys in the parking lot, but I couldn't see them yet for the, you know, the trees. But I'm walking down the driveway. Everybody's doing. I start singing, you know, and they do the background vocals. They are singing the back. Come on, baby, do the. And, th- and Todd comes walking out as I come around the corner, and I can now see the guys. They're out having a cigarette, you know, whatever. And we're singing back and forth to each other. Rundgren walks out the end of the studio, and he says, "What the hell is that?" I said, "What is it? It's Little Eva, buddy. That's the locomotion." He says, "Well, you guys get your asses in here now, because we're cutting the locomotion." And it was that quick. We went in. We decided what key we were going to do it in. And he hit the red button on the 24 track, came out into the studio, and he was clanging ashtrays together and singing all the high falsetto parts. We had a blast with that. We had a real good time recording it, and it came out in the grooves. Uh, Is there anything of these albums? Stop me if there's anything you want to say about any of these 1971 albums. Just stop me, say, John, I got something. If not, I'll keep going. Janis Joplin, Pearl. Uh, Carol King, Tapestry. Uh, yes, the Yes album. Doors, L.A. Woman. Uh, Rolling Stone, Sticky Fingers. Paul McCartney, Ram. Uh, Marvin Gaye, What's Going On. Were you a Marvin Gaye fan? Oh, man, are you kidding me? Marvin, yeah, hell yeah. Anybody who sing that smooth and mean it? <laughs> Yeah, dude. Yeah, that's yeah. why I stopped. That's why I stopped. Um, yeah. uh, the Who, Who's Next, uh, John Lennon, Imagine, Cat Stevens, uh, Teaser in the Fire Cat. Oh, I, I forgot uh, Don McLean, American Pie 71. Yeah. Were you a traffic yeah. fan? Low Spark on High Heel, Heel Boys? There you go. That's the, out of all of the, the ones that you just named, that's the one I did own. Low Spark of High Heel Boys, and I bought a copy for my little sister, and that's some of her favorite music today. And you were a Cream fan, right? I, I think I remember last time we talked. I was a Fresh Cream fan. Yes. But they they left the sound, and uh, Clapton never played with that sound again. And uh, that was the the sound that I loved, I, that's what sold me on Cream. And even Jack, you know, I got to play with Jack later in the years and, and played uh, with, in 2002, the walk down Abbey Road uh, with him. But it's like, that sound was a signature and it, it had to have that three piece, just like Grand Funk. Yeah. You know, it, it had to have that, that marriage to, to be alive and to, to still have that same pull. And all my friends that are guitar players, brother John say the same thing. Yeah. Something happened after that first fresh cream, man. It was like fresh cream was going, are you shitting me, man? We couldn't wait for the next album. And then yeah. we went, what? <laughs> yeah. 